Here's what would happen if the Megalodon fought the Titanoboa. Titanoboa stalked its prey by hiding in water or between trees and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. If the Megalodon swam right under the snake, well, the Titanoboa would attack it before the shark knew what hit it. It would sink its curved teeth into the shark, coil itself tightly around its prey, and squeeze hard, trying to choke the life out of the Megalodon. But sharks don't have lungs, they've got gills. Titanoboa needs to crush the Megalodon and collapse its organs, or block its gill openings. Or the big snake could drag the shark up onto land. In deeper waters, the Megalodon could use a high-speed assault and attack from underneath. In moments, those razor-sharp teeth would split the snake in two. In the end, it would all depend on who gets the first strike, because 